Hello and welcome to our 17th video in the series on automotive sensors. In this series, we will explain the function and working of each automotive sensor in detail. In this video, we'll explain the Yaw Rate Sensor, an important part of modern vehicle safety systems. Whether you're a beginner or simply curious about your car's sensors, by the end of this video, you'll know what a Yaw Rate Sensor is, why it matters, how it works, and how you can test it yourself. See description for links to the playlist. Let's get started. First, let's understand what a Yaw Rate Sensor is. Think of driving a car on a slippery road. If your car starts to slide, the car's computer needs to know what's happening so it can help correct the movement. The yaw rate sensor is the part that tells the car's computer if the car is spinning or sliding to the side. Yaw refers to the car's movement around its vertical axis. Imagine an arrow pointing up from the center of the car. If the car spins left or right around that arrow, that's the yaw motion. In simple words, a yaw rate sensor measures how much the car is turning or spinning out of control. Now why is this sensor important? The yaw rate sensor is a key player in your car's stability control system, like electronic stability control, ESC, or traction control systems, TCS. It helps keep your car safe during sharp turns or on slippery roads by sending information to the car's computer, which then adjusts the brakes or engine power to keep the vehicle under control. Let's say you're driving on a wet road and your car starts to skid. The yaw rate sensor will detect this skid and send the information to the car's control unit. The car will then apply brakes to certain wheels or reduce engine power to bring the car back under control, preventing an accident. Without this sensor, the car might not know it's losing control. Here's how it works step by step. First, the yaw rate sensor is constantly checking if your car is rotating around its vertical axis. Think of a situation where you're driving through a sharp turn or imagine you've hit a patch of water on the road, causing your car to start skidding. The sensor picks up this sideways motion or the car's spin and measures how fast it's turning. This movement is called yaw. For example, imagine balancing a toy car on a pencil. If you spin the toy car left or right, that's the yaw movement. The yaw rate sensor tracks how quickly this movement happens. Once the sensor detects that the car is turning too quickly or starting to skid, it sends this data to the car's main computer, often called the electronic control unit, ECU. The yaw rate sensor works together with other sensors like the wheel speed sensor and the steering angle sensor to get the full picture of how your car is moving. For example, when you take a sharp corner, the steering wheel turns, and the wheel speed changes, which the ECU monitors along with the yaw sensor's data. This helps the car understand if you're steering in the right direction or if the car is sliding off track. Now, the important part. Once the car's computer receives the data, it compares the yaw rate sensor's information with the other sensors. If the system notices that the car is not following the intended path, like slipping or oversteering, it immediately takes action. The ECU sends commands to apply the brakes to individual wheels or reduce engine power to help bring the car back into control. For instance, if your car is skidding to the left, the system might apply the brake to the right wheels to straighten the car. Thanks to the quick response from the yaw rate sensor and the stability control system, the car adjusts its path almost instantly. This reduces the risk of losing control, especially in dangerous situations like sharp turns or wet roads. A real-life example of this is when you're driving in the rain. If your car starts to lose grip and slide sideways, the yaw rate sensor detects this slide and the car will automatically adjust by applying brakes to keep the vehicle stable and avoid a potential accident. So to recap, the yaw rate sensor is constantly detecting your car's rotation, sending that data to the ECU, which then helps stabilize the car by adjusting brakes or power. It works silently in the background, but it plays a vital role in keeping you safe on the road, especially during sharp turns or on slippery surfaces. If you're ever in a situation where your car feels out of control, remember that this little sensor could be the hero behind the scenes, helping you stay safe. There are mainly two types of yaw rate sensors. One, analog yaw rate sensors. These sensors send a continuous signal to the car's computer system. They were commonly used in older cars. Two, digital yaw rate sensors. Modern cars use digital sensors that send signals in the form of pulses. These sensors are more accurate and faster, making them better for advanced safety systems. So how do you know if your yaw rate sensor is failing? The first sign is the ESC or traction control warning light on your dashboard. If this light stays on, it could be due to a faulty yaw rate sensor. Secondly, if your car is losing control in turns or on slippery roads, 
and the stability control doesn't kick in, it could mean the yaw rate sensor isn't working properly. Thirdly, if you take your car to a mechanic, they can use a diagnostic tool to check for error codes related to the yaw rate sensor. If you suspect your rate sensor is faulty, you can test it yourself. Here's how. Use an OBD2 scanner, which you can easily buy online, to check if there are any error codes related to the yaw rate sensor. Plug the scanner into the OBD2 port in your car, usually under the dashboard. Drive your car in a safe, open area and try turning sharply or driving on a slippery surface. If the ESC or traction control system doesn't activate when you lose grip, the yaw rate sensor may not be working. The yaw rate sensor is often located under the seat or in the center of the car. If you're comfortable, you can remove the seat and check for any visible damage to the sensor. If you're not sure, it's always a good idea to consult a professional mechanic for a thorough checkup. That's a simple breakdown of the yaw rate sensor. It plays a crucial role in keeping your car safe by detecting if you're losing control and helping your car stabilize itself. If you notice any warning signs or think your sensor might be faulty, don't hesitate to get it checked or test it yourself using an OBD2 scanner. I hope this video helped you understand the Your Rate Sensor better. Don't forget to like, share and subscribe for more easy to understand car maintenance tips and technical training. In our next video, we'll be diving into the lap timer sensor. Stay tuned.